For those in a trustworthy, committed relationship, press the like button. For those who are not, still press the like button. Love is supposed to be a healthy bond where you should be able to share open communication and trust with one another. How would you feel or react if someone proposed to you with deceit? Man, you don't even understand. According to N. Known, a woman's perfect proposal quickly went downhill after a discovery about her engagement ring sparked a series of lies from her fiancé. The proposal began when the woman got engaged on Christmas Day. I love Christmas Day, so that would be a perfect holiday to be engaged to. Her ring came inside a Tiffany and Cole box, but was just a little bit too big. So the woman went to get it resized at one of the brand stores. Let me tell you, that ring being too big was a sign from God. Yes, it was. How many times God gave us a sign not to date somebody and we still ignore the sign God been sending us? It was God sending that lady on a mission to uncover the truth. Who she really was going to marry. The manager of the store told the woman it wasn't a Tiffany Cole ring. Showing her there was no engravement on the inside. The ring was fake. Which the woman believed was probably the result of her fiancé getting scammed. She asked him where she brought the ring. He responded that he brought it at a Pacific Tiffany & Co. location. But she revealed her issue at the store. The woman fiancé flipped out accusing her of checking up on him. He told her the Tiffany employees were wrong and he got in it there. I say he ain't not in a position to feel like he's the victim because he did something wrong. And then try to flip it out on her because he got caught for deceiving his fiance. Mm -hmm. Days later, after snooping through the research history of her fiance iPad, she found the actual ring he ordered on Amazon for about $6. After finding this information out, I went to Amazon to look it up and see if they actually go to Amazon and see that they sell wedding rings for as low as 99 cents all the way to the 1000s. She confronted her fiance again this time over the phone saying that she didn't care about the ring's price but was devastated by the lies. In this case, price did matter because the price didn't match the Tiffany Cobox. Her fiance confessed, revealing that he borrowed the box from his friend who had proposed with a Tiffany ring a few years prior. The woman hung up and texted him that she needed some space and time and that she was going to stay at a hotel to just chill for a day. Posted an experience on Reddit Users urged the woman to hold out for her real diamond and her real love. This story actually reminds me of Everybody Hates Chris when he brought his mother a fake voodoo perfume and Rochelle broke out from the perfume and then tried to return it to Goldstein's. <laughs> and then he confesses in the storm that the perfume was fake. The moral of the story is, as an adult, you should be able to communicate to your spouse the truth on how you feel and is the other person burden to accept what you're telling them. If you don't make enough money, say that. If you want to marry them in the future and you want to save up your coins, tell them that so they could be on the same page with you. And y'all can be on one accord in an agreement with one another. If it was me, 
I would not get with, back with that person. I don't need no damn space. <laughs> no space. I don't need no damn space. I would not get back with that person at all. A person that's willing to do that would definitely mess up your credit. Mm -hmm. If you're going to buy a cheat ring, reveal that to them so your mate could be in agreement with you. That they will be wearing a cheat ring. You know what I'm saying? How many can relate to this or know someone that experienced this? God is on my side. Have a blessed day. <laughs> Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.